Hi, I'm Amy Hannon and nothing thrills me more than people and food. I'm a preacher's wife, a mom of three, and I own my own specialty kitchen store. I've kept an open door and a well-stocked fridge, which means I have fed a lot of mouths over the years. So welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking Today. Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I'm so glad that you're with us today. I am making the most beautiful, I mean beautiful, like visually stunning, healthy, wonderful salad today that is all chopped and tons and tons of fresh vegetables and a couple of things that you might not be familiar with. We're gonna put in hearts of palm, as a matter of fact. We're gonna make these delicious homemade sugared pecans, kind of like the ones you get at Christmas time that we just eat hands full of, you know, or you can get them like at theme parks. Oh, they're so good. It's so hard not to snack on them, isn't it? We got to save them for our salad. And then a little bit of bacon and goat cheese on this beautiful bib salad. I mean, all those things come together. It is so pretty. The colors are fantastic. And the flavors, every single bite of it is to die for. I very first had this salad, as a matter of fact, in Dallas when I was with my daughter on a little trip. We went to a place, and this was on their menu. And I mean, y'all, we, we ate every single bite. We turned our forks over and like pressed them into every last little nugget on the plate and like practically just, just licked the plate. It was that good. We didn't want to leave one single tidbit of it on the plate. So good. So what we want to start with now, just because we need to get them out of the oven and get them cooling, are these sugared pecans. You are welcome to buy these at the grocery store if you would like to skip this step. And you don't even have to sugar them. You could just toast them real quick and you know, just to have that good bite of, a, of um, nuts in your salad. I love nuts in my salad. Um, so you don't have to sugar them, but we're gonna sugar them today. Just a tiny little coating makes them so good and crisp. So what we're gonna do, and this is so easy, you're gonna love this. We just have a little bitty bowl and I've already started with a teaspoon and a half of water is just down in here and then we're going to add to it a tablespoon of brown sugar and then I'm going to walk over here and get about a half a teaspoon of white sugar to mix in just for a little flavor change. Mm, that dark brown sugar is so good and then I'm going to add for a little bite of, of salt in our glaze just about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of good vanilla. Mm. This vanilla is so good, y'all. So, so good. I got a fresh batch. A nice, full, new, pretty bottle because I go through it like crazy. Okay, and that's it. Brown sugar, water, white sugar, a little salt, and a little bit of vanilla. And I'm just gonna take my teaspoon and make this a little bit of a paste right there and it doesn't have to dissolve it's going to do that on the stove so don't worry about spending you know 10 minutes on this oh smells good 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 okay we're going to set that right there and then i just have a small saucepan and i'm going to put in a cup of halved pecans and like i said this would be a great way for you to if you didn't want to add the sugar into this salad you could just do the same exact technique with the pecans and put them on the stove and just stir them until they get warm and a little bit toasted. The toasting of a pecan or any nut brings out the most amazing flavor and that's what we're really going for right here. So I'm gonna let that get a little bit warm and then we've got our glaze right here that we're gonna tump on in just a minute. I said tump, which in my family is a word and then we've had several conversations with people about whether it's a word. I think it's like turn over and dump. Do y'all say tump? I know some of you do because we've talked about it on Instagram. Okay, so then what else we're gonna do is we have our oven preheated to 300. I have lined a baking sheet with, I use a silicone mat that we sell at Unimaze. You may prefer just to use a piece of parchment, but you do wanna have a little something on your rimmed baking sheet just to kind of keep the nuts from um, sticking. You wanna be able to you know, peel them off and, and toss them a little bit. So I've got this ready to go. And I have got our pecans over medium heat. And I am just going to stir these. Now, there's no moisture in these. They're not going to 
You don't want them to get burned. You really don't even want them to change color. We're just getting a little heat on them underneath there. So you want to stir these, kind of keep them moving until they just become a little bit fragrant. You're just going to kind of start to smell their nuttiness. And, the, you know, that little bit of buttery that's in um, a pecan, it's so good. So just stir these till they're warm. I do this with pine nuts. I do this with walnuts. I mean, I always toast nuts. This is such an easy way to do it. You could also put them on a sheet pan if you wanted to just for a few minutes. But I always toast my nuts before I put them on anything. It just brings out the flavor and that little bit of crisp. So good. Okay. So we want to do this for just a couple of minutes. I can start to smell them. And all we want to do is take our glaze on here and pour it over. Start. I, can you hear the sizzle? Just a little bit of sizzle when that hits that hot saucepan. Mm, 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 mm. And so I, you just want to stir. Don't let up on your stirring. You want to keep going, okay? and just coat. So you're just stirring to coat. And when, you know, we were a little concerned about the graininess of that sugar, that's gone. It has melted down, covered these nuts. We're gonna pour these out on our sheet pan, spread them out, bake them in an oven for about five minutes and that's it. When we come back, we're gonna put our salads together. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Hi, we're back. I am stirring up these delicious sugar pecans that we have just made. I baked them at about 300 degrees for about only about five minutes or so, just to kind of set that sugar that we tossed them in. These are gonna cool and go on top of our beautiful chopped bib salad. So I've just scooped these up to make sure they're not sticking and making sure they're in a nice even layer and they just need to cool and they're just gonna do that on their own. Whoops. Okay, we're gonna set these aside. And they will actually crisp up a little bit as they cool. And we'll put those on at the very, very end. So, now we get to the good stuff. Oh my word, y'all already said it, but the toppings that are all inside the salad, mm, so good. Starting with a little bit of bacon. We're just gonna do a couple of pieces of bacon. I use this, I use this technique all the time. So easy. You can do as many pieces of bacon as you would like, or as few, or none. I'm gonna use several. We're gonna use six. And, you know, once you crisp bacon, you can actually save it in a Ziploc, keep it cold, and use it on something else. So you don't have to put every bit of this in this particular salad. But it is so good, that salty bite. You know what I'm talking about, that good salty bite and that little bit of crisp. So good. Oh my word. So I just have a couple of pieces. This cuts better if it's actually cold. Mine's been sitting out just a little bit. And I have a small skillet going on the stove over about medium heat. And we're just going to crisp these. And then we're going to get going on our, on our good stuff and our dressing. Cannot wait for that dressing. I told y'all we just ate every single bite, practically licked our plates. As a matter of fact, Every single time I have gone back to Dallas since, I have actually gone to this place and gotten a salad. So I have probably had this salad at this particular restaurant in Dallas probably six times. It's that good. Even though I've learned how to make it at home, I'm still going and getting it. Okay. So we have got our bacon going. And I'm going to flip my cutting board over to the fresh side. And we're going to let that go. And I'm just going to listen for that and turn around and stir it every once in a while. Those pieces of bacon that have kind of stuck together, they're going to loosen up as it cooks and crisps. So it will be just fine. And what we have here is hydroponic lettuce. It's bib lettuce. You've probably seen it before. It comes in this box. It's beautiful. Isn't that the most beautiful color? It is thin and kind of velvety. It's, it's really not even crispy. It's kind of smooth, and it doesn't have a really strong bitter taste that a lot of people don't like in a salad. My kids will eat bib lettuce, and there are other salads they don't really like because this lettuce makes all the difference. It actually is named bib lettuce 
after the man that farmed it created this variety in Kentucky, like in the late 1800s. So it's named bib for that reason, but we call it butter lettuce because it's so smooth. It's like smooth like butter. And it comes, because of the way that it's been grown, it comes with this root system on the bottom of it. And so I am going to rinse this real quick. And these pieces, oh my word, they are so tender, y'all. They almost feel like velvet. I mean, they really, really do. If you have not eaten with this salad, with this kind of lettuce in your salad, you need to try it. And it is not the least expensive by any means, but in particular salads like this one, it's worth it. It is delicious. And I'm going to rinse my knife really quick since we cut our bacon with it. And did I tell you all the other good things we're putting in this? Hearts of palm, which you could also substitute with artichokes if you would rather. As a matter of fact, I think March may be National Artichoke Month. Is it weird that I know that? But I really do think that it is. We'll have to look it up and be sure. Okay, let me stir my bacon. I can hear it. I need to give it a little whir in here. I always tell y'all, bacon is probably my favorite bite. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to let that keep going. Sizzling away. And then I'm just going to cut this root system right off of here. And it's dirty. I'm going to keep my water running just a little bit, just to kind of keep my fingers clean. But I'm just going to almost take my knife like I'm coring it out, like you would kind of core like a head of cabbage. We've done that before here. I'm just going to go right around that base and pull that out. Like I said, that's got dirt on it, so you want to keep your hands clean. And then what I like to do is lay out several sheets of paper towels. You have a salad spinner and you want to go to the trouble of doing that and you just, that's your thing, then you just go right away and, and do that. I just like to rinse these pieces and give them a little shake and lay them out. And I don't always totally dry my lettuce. I don't mind that little bit of the wet in there and it kind of mixes with our salad dressing. I actually really like a little bit of like a soppy, soppy salad. Good stuff. So our bacon's crisping. Our lettuce is washing. And when we get back, we're gonna put together our sauce, our good stuff, all of our toppings, and build a beautiful salad. This is cooking today. Ice tea, sponsored by Lipton. Hi, welcome back. We are making the most beautiful chopped bib salad today. We have now prepped everything that we need to put this beautiful salad together. We candied our own sugared pecans at the very beginning. They've cooled. I've got them in this beautiful little cup right here. We've had a few when you weren't looking. They're so good. We have our bacon. It's crisped. I have actually taken it out of the skillet, letting it drain on a paper towel, and we wash our leaves of our bib lettuce. And I am just going to take a very sharp knife. You want a good sharp knife because you don't want to bruise the leaves, you want to cut right through them. And I'm just going to do, kind of, I like kind of bigger pieces of salad on this particular one. And you know what's so great about bib? Butter. Is there's really not that hard, like hard, you know some people really like the romaine that have those hearts that are really crunchy. There's just a little bit of that, but not much. Most of every single piece of this is going to be so tender and good. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful salad. Okay, so we're just going to cut these in some kind of a rough chop pieces. And then we are going to slice up some hearts of palm. Now hearts of palm, you can kind of put as many or as few on here as you would like. They're a really mild flavor as a matter of fact. They are exactly what they sound like. They're actually pulled right out of the heart of a palm tree, believe it or not. Kind of right there in the little bud. And then they're marinated and they're tender and they're really, really good. And we did look it up while we were away that March is National Artichoke Month. It's actually on the 16th. So if you're an artichoke, artichoke person like my mother and my daughter, 
You could trade out the hearts of palm if you would like and do artichokes instead. They are good, oh my word. And they actually usually give it a whole lot more flavor. The hearts of palm actually don't have a lot of flavor. Kind of a more of a texture thing, a real fresh bite. But um, if you wanted that more marinated, kind of heavy flavor of an artichoke, you can just substitute your little heart out. Okay, this salad, y'all, it's so pretty. Just look how pretty these leaves are. They're so tender. We have got that in our pretty bowl. And I'm going to clean off our cutting board. And you want to put the nuts and the bacon in at the very end. Because if you put that in right now, what's going to happen? Soggy. We don't want soggy. We want those to be our crispy bites. So we'll put those in at the very, very end. Okay, so we have our butter lettuce. Let's do our hearts of palm. And they do just come right there beside the artichokes in the canned vegetable section. And you want to drain out this liquid. And you can use a half a can if you would like. I kind of eyeball it and see. I usually use, I use probably nearly half a can. There are five of these little hearts in here. And what's really neat about them is they actually are these rings. So when you cut them, they actually kind of come apart in rings. Look, is that neat? It's like a neat little bite. So you're not eating this whole entire big chunk. As you slice, they kind of come into bits and these neat little tender rings. So I'm just gonna give these a little thin slice. Mm-hmm, they smell good. And I'm gonna drop these in. I did three. You can do as many as you'd like. These are kinda coming on strong in our family. We've started putting them in all kinds of our salads. And I'll be honest, I had never had a heart of palm in my life until I had the salad in Dallas and I didn't even quite know what I was getting when it came but we fell in love with it pretty quick okay and then we have an avocado look at all these good healthy things that are going in the salad and you can substitute if you would like one of the things I like to suggest always when you're cooking and I actually learned this from a seasoned chef is to always try the recipe the way it's written first do it exactly how the person who cooked it or wrote it just exactly how they suggested it. And then that way, you kind of know what it's you know, intended to taste like. Then, the second time that you make it, you can actually change what you would like to change. But try it first, the way that it was intended, so you get exactly what was planned, and you're probably not gonna change it. Usually, it's a pretty good plan, tried and true. I have just cubed and chopped these avocados right there inside of the skins. And then I run my spoon right inside there and scrape all of that out. My friend Kelly Davis, one time I was doing this in front of her and she came back and she said, aren't you gonna keep going? Like scooping down into that skin? She doesn't leave a single bit of anything inside her skins. She taught me that, as a matter of fact. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so there's our avocado. And then we're just gonna chop a couple of these yummy grape tomatoes. As a matter of fact, these are small. These are nice little bitty guys, so I think I'm just gonna put them in whole. They are pretty, they're already washed. Right now, the color we're getting, oh my word, y'all. Beautiful. When we come back, we're gonna put together our dressing, a real quick, easy, yummy one, throw in our good crunchy bites, and call it a day. This is cooking today. Welcome back. We're wrapping up the most beautiful salad you've ever seen. So fresh, so healthy. I mean, the best bites. Y'all are going to love this. We have our bib salad, our lettuce that we've actually torn up into really good pieces. We have beautiful little whole grape tomatoes, a sliced avocado, and then we also have cut some really neat rings of hearts of palm. Isn't that a fun surprise? We've added our bacon. We're going to top it with a little bit of our candy pecans that we just made, a crumble of goat cheese, and this amazing salad dressing. Easy as it can be. Rice vinegar, olive oil, honey, 
and salt and pepper. That's it. Isn't that so easy? Healthy, healthy, healthy. No preservatives. You know exactly where this is coming from. Look at that color. Oh, my word. I'm going to drizzle in a little bit of honey, a pinch of salt, and then we're going to top these. There's a little salt for us. Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. That, and then we put that white goat cheese in. Oh, it is just perfection. I made this, as a matter of fact, for a group of about, I, I think I tripled it, and made this recipe in a huge boat, like the biggest like wooden bowl you've ever seen in your whole entire life. Huge. You could put baby Moses in it. I think he might have been in that boat. But he, I, put, I filled that with like four times this and, fe and fed it to 20 women on the day that we actually had our watch party here for our very first Cooking Today episode. Isn't that fun? We're drizzling this delicious dressing on, soaking it, putting our chopped pecans in, and I'm gonna crumble a little goat right on the very top. It's the most beautiful salad. You're gonna love every bite. I absolutely believe it with my whole heart. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Kitchenware is provided by Una Mays. Groceries provided by Harps, hometown fresh.